Hello, my dear friends. Very good evening to all. How is the life going on? So, how was the yesterday night and whole day? I hope you all must have enjoyed, relaxed, and had the happiness in your life. So, our exam is over, and your hard work has definitely paid. And I think the next 20 25 days till your result is out this is the golden Hello, this is friends. the golden period of your life whatever you want to do you can enjoy you can do because beta ek bar aap doctor ban gaye apni life mein aapne practice start kar di apne professional career mein ghus gaye tab aapke paas time nahi hoga theek hai so whatever you want to do you can do in these 25 days next 25 days till our result is out and i am very sure that definitely you all will be getting the good score in this exam and will be passing with flying colors because the examination level what we had assessed from the students it was a moderate level and those who were clear with their concepts definitely were able to solve many questions more than what was required to clear this exam now here we are today to discuss the psm questions and definitely as i'll say that these are the recall questions so the language of the questions may not be exactly the same what has been asked in the examination but as per the feedback which i got from you i had tried to frame the questions reaching as close to the question that was asked in the examination and we will be try to answer and again as i say that these are the recall questions so by changing even a one word in the question it can change the answer so there might be the different answer if i had framed a question in another way and might be a different answer little bit if it was asked in a different way in the examination so if uh, there is some disparity so let me know because i'll be uh, correcting uh, those uh, areas where some disparity will be there okay so uh, just a minute let me check uh, the chat box just a minute beta. just give me a minute अच्छा 
so without wasting time you all must be waiting for the correct answer so we will be starting our questions and uh, as per as i said that i was able to collect the 48 questions and uh, i had skipped the questions which was uh, um, interrelated with the biochemistry so those questions were included in the biochemistry section and um, i was able to get the 48 questions and um, maximum questions were asked in the first paper and when the students were out from the examination hall and the word what they have said first is madam psm bhar bhar ke aaya tha bhar bhar ke aaya tha and uh, many of uh, you were able to answer the maximum questions and as if i can say that uh, two were the questions uh, one was related to the global hunger index and another was the uh, smr standardized uh, mortality uh, ratio what we had not directly discussed in the classes the rest all of the questions we had already covered in our classes so coming to our uh, first question in immunization clinic after giving pentavalent vaccine in which category you will dispose of syringe with a fixed needle now this is a catch in this is that it was a syringe with the fixed needle and we all know that if it is fixed then we are going with a sharp category and this we are disposing into the white category now there is hardly any a difference of if you had given any antibiotic if you had given any vaccine this was just given to confuse you so here the correct answer is it is the white category of waste is this in population of 2 lakh reported live births were 4000 now causes of maternal deaths are as follows so here they had uh, asked us to calculate the maternal mortality uh, ratio mmr now uh, this time they had given you the calculator although many students they were not knowing about that and as we had already discussed in our classes and i trained you to solve the questions even uh, without using the calculator without you having your uh, rough paper and the pen with the mental uh, calculations so you all uh, had done uh, with that also so here uh, the death because of the preeclamptic toxemia is 2 the abortion 2 the antipartum hemorrhage 2 pph 2 and electrocution it is trauma because of the 2 so here the first catch was that the total deaths were the 12 but out of this the two were electrocution that was an accidental death so it is not calculated in the mmr first thing second is mmr it is calculated maternal deaths per 1 lakh live births and these deaths are out of 4000 live births so uh, these are the 10 actual deaths are there because out of the 12 we have to exclude these two so 10 deaths are out of the 4000 live births so how will be out of 1 lakh live births so this 1 lakh live births will be your 250 so beta uh, here the correct answer is 250 per 1 lakh it is not an answer a c beta it is uh, 1 lakh 250 per 1 lakh this is a very important catch now coming to a next a question that is 30 year lady coming to clinic on fifth day of unprotected coitus now best emergency contraceptive will be now here the first catch is that patient is coming on the fifth day of unprotected coitus now we know that uh, lng it is acting up to 72 hours so this is out IUCD, yes, it is supposed to be a best contraceptive uh, till uh, 5 days. So, yes, this could be an option. Marzopistol, we are not uh, using as the emergency contraceptive. Now, combined oral pills, again, they are effective till 72 hours. So, it is also out. Now, there is uh, one confusion. Please let me know whether the ulipristal was given in the choices or not because some were saying the ulipristal was given uh, ulipristal if it is given so ulipristal is also effective till five days but if they had asked what is the best emergency contraceptive and then we will be going with iucd because ulipristal many times it is not freely available everywhere although this is mainly used as a uh, therapeutic modality for the treatment of fibroids but it is also used as an emergency contraceptive till five days but it is not as freely available and it is not a uh, best over the iucd so here i'll go with iucd and if even a ulipistol was given then even i'll go with iucd because uh, no ma'am uh, ulipistol was not given rahul so then it is fine so your iucd is our answer okay now lady is coming to 
clinic with history of headache, fever and two months amenorrhea and diagnosed as a case of plasmodium vivax infection, the treatment recommended is. So, here the two catches, one is what is the type of malaria, it is a plasmodium vivax infection. Second is the patient is having the pregnancy and how much is the duration of the pregnancy? She is in the first trimester that is two months a duration. Now, we had already discussed in our classes that plasmodium vivax ka the drug of choice is chloroquine and in the pregnancy we are not giving the primoquine because primoquine is contraindicated. If it was not a pregnancy then definitely it was chloroquine with primoquine. So, that is the uh, first uh, choice in our uh, first answer it is coming in my mind and the second is if it would have been a falciparum then in the first trimester quinine is the drug of choice. So, now see the choices the chloroquine with the primoquine. Primoquine is not given so this primoquine is out. Now, ACT we know that uh, it is not safe in the first trimester so this is also out. Now, quinine. Quinine is given in the first trimester but what we had studied that usually it is given in the falciparum not in the vivex. Okay. So, this is again plus minus. Now, doxycycline it is again contraindicated. So, here they did not give the uh, chloroquine as a single option. So, the second best option is it is a quinine. So, here the yes you all are very right the quinine is the correct answer for this question. Total number of the children born to a woman in comparison of the other women of the same reproductive age. Yes, this is a very uh, important question commonly asked area, but they had little bit twisted the definition. Now, total number of the children born to a woman. Suppose a lady has given the three children in comparison to the other woman of the same reproductive age. Now, the other woman has given only the one child. So, the total children born, we all know that it is the T is total, that is the TFR, that is the total fertility rate. So, they had simply compared the TFR of a one lady to another lady. So, total number of the children born, it is none other than the TFR. So, here the correct answer is, it is the total fertility rate. Because the general fertility rate is it is the total live births per 1000 reproductive age women, not for a single woman. Now, what is a GRR? That is gross reproduction rate is total for the girl children born to a woman and uh, in her entire reproduction and what is NRR is a net uh, girl children remaining alive till their own reproduction. So, here they are asking the total number of the children. So, definitely here the correct answer is it is TFR. Male death per 1000 mid-year population of male. It is what? Now, here they had specified about the male population, not about the general population. So, what is the crude death rate is? It is the total death per total 1000 mid year population. Here they had asked about the male specifically. So, it will be a specific mortality rate because a specific age group may, a specific population may of the male, how many male are dying, okay? It is not a proportional mortality rate. Proportional, what we had already discussed is out of the total deaths, how many deaths are because of a specific cause. That was a proportional mortality. Here it is out of the total male population 1000, how many male are dying? So, this is your specific mortality rate for the male. And I could not get the uh, last uh, option, D option. If anybody can help me in getting uh, this uh, uh, option, that will be uh, fine. Okay, But uh, I could not get the uh, last option, option number D. So, coming to the next question, the strain of injectable polio vaccine. Now, here they had not directly given the strain of uh, OPV or IPV. What they had said the injectable polio, we know that polio vaccine is of the two types. Oral polio vaccine that is given by the oral route that is OPV and by the injection we are giving is the IPV that is a uh, uh, injected injectable a polio vaccine okay or uh, um, or inactivated polio vaccine it is given by intradermal route now we know that a strain in the opv it is only the p1 and p3 while strain in ipv it is all three p1 p2 and p3 so here the correct answer for this is that is option number d that is p1 p2 and p3 okay uh, they had asked IPV, okay. So, uh, then uh, no confusion if they simply mention the what is the strain of the IPV, then directly it is the P1, P2 and P3. So, strain of an 
इंजेक्टेबल पोलियो वैक्सीन की जगह यू आर सेइंग दे हैड सिंपली आस व्हाट इज़ अ स्ट्रेन इन द आईपीवी सो यस इट इज पी वन पी टू एंड पी थ्री नाउ गिवन इंस्ट्रूमेंट इज यूज्ड टू मेजर ना सम स्टूडेंट्स आर सेइंग दैट दे हैड आस द नेम ऑफ द इंस्ट्रूमेंट दे सेइंग दैट गिवन इंस्ट्र is used to measure the humidity what is the name of this instrument then it is a sling psychrometer and some says they had given the image and that asked for what purpose it is used so this instrument which is an image given it is a sling psychrometer which is used to measure air humidity because air temperature it is by the globe thermometer and the cooling power of the air we are measuring by kata thermometer and um, I uh, don't know. Uh, I could not get the last option. And if anybody can uh, add up, okay. They had given the instrument and they'd asked for the uh, purpose. So uh, they can't ask about the name of the instrument. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. They mentioned about the humidity, about the purpose only. Okay. So a uh, purpose is uh, the yes. So they are uh, this instrument. It is uh, used to measure the humidity. Humidity was there. Okay. So definitely. So humidity is um, the correct answer for this uh, question. Now coming to the next is correct feature of case control study. Yes. Now here I just want to know. Because maximum of you are saying that they are asking is what is the correct feature, but some are saying that they might be asking that all are correct except or they had asked the incorrect feature. So if they had asked the correct feature of the case control study, then uh, it is used for the rare disease. Yes, this is also a true statement. Effect to cause. Yes, this is also a true statement. Means we are moving with the disease to the. risk factor or the effect or the outcome to the uh, cause effect to the cause backward direction this is also the true statement and uh, power of uh, air a uh, cooling option d okay so a uh, cooling power to beta i had already mentioned okay they asked about all are incorrect except okay it means they had asked the correct so opposite way that they had asked is all are incorrect except means they had asked the all are incorrect except okay so they had asked what is the correct statement so here it is used for the rare disease it is also the true statement effect to cause this is also a true statement and calculation of incidence no this is a uh, incorrect or the false statement calculation because it is by the cohort study calculation of the prevalence it is um, the again it is a false because prevalence is calculated by the cross section now see carefully here are the two are the correct features okay now if i say if i have to choose one out of them okay one out of them so rare disease it is yes case control study is a study of choice for the rare disease but we had already studied also that nested case control study can also be used for the rare diseases with expensive investigation so if i have to choose the best out of this this is i'll go with this is the best answer that is effect to cause but i say that it was a very tricky question and it was a very um, difficult question to answer because here the two statements are very right that it is used for the rare disease and it is the effect to cause but still if you have to choose a best out of uh, these two i'll go with this as effect to cause is the best answer so uh, sometimes if you can remember my words we used to discuss in our classes that sometimes you may not be getting the correct answer in the choices but you have to choose the best possible answer in your uh, choices okay so um, here the best answer is the effect to cause okay cause to effect if it is given then definitely the rare disease is the answer but many of you 
had said that effective cause was mentioned. So, I am again repeating if effective cause and the use for the rare diseases both are given, so the answer will be the effective cause. But agar ye cause to effect diya tha, then no doubt that the answer will be your uh, use for rare diseases. That is why we say that these are the recall questions and uh, uh, sometimes uh, it is difficult for all of you to recall the questions and the choices we can understand. So, whatever is this as per the question, the answer will be there. Okay not included in the calculation of MMR. So, again it is a, a, a very a common area that is maternal mortality ratio. We know it is number of the uh, maternal deaths per 1 lakh live births and what is a maternal death? It is death of a lady from the point of conception till 6 weeks after the delivery due to any cause which is aggravated due to the pregnancy or it is related to the pregnancy, but it is not due to accidental or the incidental causes. So, not included in the calculation of uh, MMR APH, yes, it is related to pregnancy, it is included. Accidents, it is not included. Ectopic pregnancy, yes, it is due to pregnancy only. Preeclamptic toxemia, yes, it is due to the pregnancy only. So, here it is the accident is the answer. Okay. So, yes, effect to cause. So, many of you are saying the effect to cause was there. So, yes, I will go with that answer. All are included in uh, global hunger index except yes. This is the A question which uh, we usually uh, do not discuss in our classes because it is uh, not usually asked in the FMG exam till now, usually being asked in a, a NEET PG or IN set exam. So, uh, global hunger index is usually it is a calculation of the deprivation and uh, the more is the deprivation, the a poor will be the nutritional status. So, here the ranking is done, uh, the so range of this is 0 to 100. 0 means there is no deprivation, so it is a better nutrition of the country and if it is a 100, it means here absolutely deprivation is there, the poor status of the country. So, it is including the three components, the undernourished population, yes, the how many percentage of the children are underweight and children what we are taking is a 0 to 5 years. It is including the child mortality means the mortality in the children of the 0 to 5 years. IMR it is not included in the global hunger index. So, all are included in the GHI except so IMR is the correct answer here. Okay. So, these are the three parameters undernourished population, child underweight and the child mortality. Now, reservoir of Indian Kala Azar. Now, Indian Kala Azar is visceral leishmaniasis. Although, if we simply say that leishmaniasis, leishmaniasis is maybe a visceral, it may be the uh, cutaneous leishmaniasis or the mucocutaneous. In that case, the reservoir, it is where we say the wild animals. But Indian Kala Azar or the visceral leishmaniasis, specifically we say it is considered as a non zoonotic means there is no involvement of the animals directly it is transmitted between the scent fly human scent fly human. So, if it is written as Indian Kala Azar in that case the reservoir it is the man only. So, human is the only reservoir but if they say that is a reservoir of the leishmaniasis in general in that case we can go with a uh, fox because here the fox is a wild animal and uh, but they had clearly mentioned that is a reservoir of the Indian Kalazar or the visceral leishmaniasis where the uh, no animal is involved it is a non zoonotic condition so here the man is a reservoir okay uh, what is unmole and again we had uh, clearly discussed in our classes that is ANM is made online so, ANM workers are made online and how they are made online? They are being given the tablets and uh, there is an application and they are directly doing the entry of their uh, uh, survey, their reports and quick data collection and quick analysis is done. So, uh, giving the television to the ANMs, no. It is uh, tablets to the ANM to work through the application, yes. Delivery of the OCP is a no. And uh, can anybody help me that what could be the fourth option here? So, the best option or the the correct answer for this is for the unmole is that is established to the ANM to work through app. Okay. Yes, I know that everybody has answered this correctly unmole because we had already discussed in our classes. Navjat Shishu Suraksha Yojana. 
we had already again discussed this is uh, actually a two day training program which is given to the health workers who are conducting the deliveries and how we have to do the resuscitation of the newborn babies. So, this is basically related to newborn to decrease the mortalities and the complications in the newborn. Okay. Uh, um, they mentioned the Kala Azar, okay, Indian Kala Azar. D was the weighing scale, okay. So, it was a, a weighing scale, okay. Thank you, beta. So, Navja Shishu Suraksha Yojana, it is for care of newborns, okay. Under the Rashtri Kishore Swastha Karikram, health checkup frequency is. We know under the Kishore Swastha Karikram or the Bal Swastha Karikram, we are doing the health checkup and the frequency of the health checkup is every six months. So, we are doing once in a month, once in three months, six monthly. So, yes, we are doing the health checkup every six monthly because we know that in the Rashtri Kishore Swast Karikram also and the uh, Rashtri Bal Swast Karikram also that we are doing the uh, detection of the 4D. 4D is uh, the diseases, the defect, the deficiencies and the developmental delays. So, we are doing the screening for that and for that we are doing their every six monthly examination. Okay. Yes, you all are right. Every six months we are doing their examination. Now, please correct me in this question also. Now, under the Anemia Mukt Bharat program, what is the dose of our second trimester pregnant lady? Now, here whether they had asked as the dose for the anemia treatment or whether they had given the hemoglobin also. So, because based on this, we are going to answer this question. Because if simply they ask is under anemia mukt bharat program, what is the dose of RN tablet in the second trimester of the pregnancy? In that case, we are giving once a day. This is a one thing. And uh, the dose is 60 milligram iron and 500 microgram folic acid. That is very clear. So, uh, everywhere it is 600 mic milligram iron and the 500 microgram folic acid. Okay. This is very clear. And uh, digital ka option tha question 13 mein. Uh, question 13 mein digital ka option tha. Uh, digital weighing machine. Okay, beta. A uh, digital weighing machine. Okay. Uh, 9 to 18 age is given in the question. 9 to 18 age, beta, uh, kiss me diya tha. 9 to 18 age, they might have given in this. Okay. In the 19 to 18 years of the age. Okay. Hemoglobin was not mentioned. Yes, mentioned for anemia, Mukt Bharat. Yes, hemoglobin was mentioned. So, yes, some are saying the hemoglobin was given and some are saying hemoglobin is not given because my answer will change. Because if they say under the anemia Mukt Bharat program, what is the dose of this tablet in the second trimester of the pregnancy, then dose is same, 60 milligram iron and 500 microgram folic acid, then my answer will be once a day. Okay, but if uh, they had asked is hemoglobin is 10 gram and the treatment of anemia because if the hemoglobin is 10 gram, it means the patient is having the mild anemia, then my answer will be changing to twice a day. Now, 10 gram hemoglobin and the pregnant under the anemia Mukta Bharat program. So, beta, if a 10 gram hemoglobin is given, in that case, I will go with as twice a day because I will be considering this patient as a mild anemic patient and I will not be giving the prophylactic dose, I will be giving the therapeutic dose. Okay. So, again, there is a tie between the two choices based on the question. Okay. So, if hemoglobin is not mentioned, then my answer will be once a day. But if the hemoglobin 10 gram is mentioned, then my answer will be twice a day. Okay. Then coming to the next is arrange the correct sequence of the family cycle and I think this is again a very very simple question we had already discussed so many times in our classes that uh, it is start with the formation leading to extension then completed extension retraction some says only till the retraction was given and if it is was extended that it could be the 
a complete retraction then there is the a dissolution of the family when partner dies and ultimately when the survivor also dies is the extinction of the family so uh, like this so this is my answer as a correct answer that is formation extension completed extension retraction complete retraction dissolution and extinction of the family okay now method to kill mosquito larvas again this was uh, whole cycle was there so okay whole cycle was there the mother uh, method to kill the mosquito larva we know that mosquito larvas either killed by chemicals or by putting the uh, gambusia fishes the mosquito net no it is not killing the larvas indoor spray it is killing the adults mosquitoes okay and uh, gambusia fish yes it is used to kill the larvas and uh, repellents no again it is just to uh, repel out uh, the mosquitoes so here the correct answer is gambusia fish a person coming with eschar for eschar formation and uh, lymphadenopathy following the bite on trunk by insect diagnosis is so eschar is the characteristic feature of scrub typhus okay uh okay i got the beta key whole of the uh, family cycle was given okay thank you uh, so here the hr is the classical finding that is a, a lesion which is covered with the black scab and it is seen with the mite bite and the disease is scrub typhus so here no confusion it is the scrub typhus because epidemic typhus it is with the louse bite and uh, endemic typhus it is because of the flea bite and uh, rocky mountain spotted fever it is because of the heartic bite so here the correct answer is scrub typhus now worldwide most common non communicable disease is worldwide most common non communicable disease it is uh, hypertension yes it is there atrial ventricular septal defect it is not there and i could uh, not get the rest of the two choices the might was also given in the question so person coming with the hr formation lymphadenopathy following the bite on trunk by the trunk by might okay so they had mentioned the insect so it is again very easy to answer because might is responsible for scrub typhus okay now here can you help me what were the other two choices in this hypertension so yes it is one of the answer and uh, uh, second choice i could get is uh, atrial ventricular septal defects if uh, any other choice is there please let me know otherwise the hypertension is the answer here now cause of blindness in children again a very simple commonly asked question in the children the cause of blindness is vitamin a deficiency okay vitamin a deficiency is cause of blindness in the children while in the overall population we say the cataract is the cause of uh, blindness now what is most common cause of anemia in lactating female who is breastfeeding her 6 month baby and belongs to pure vegetarian family okay uh, atrial fibrillation coronary artery disease cardiomyopathy so okay here it is the atrial fibrillation and uh, dilated cardiomyopathy okay dilated cardiomyopathy okay so again out of these four the hypertension is the best answer now a uh, coming to this question what is the most common cause of anemia in a lactating female who is breastfeeding her 6 month old baby and in the pure vegetarians usually the b12 deficiency is seen so the cause of anemia here is that is the b12 deficiency and also give the formula was there beta what was the formula refractory errors and a glaucoma cataract vitamin a a uh, vitamin a okay cataract vitamin e was not there glaucoma okay uh, what else refractory errors refractory errors glaucoma okay
क्वेश्चन सिक्सटीन में बेटा दे हैड सेट द ट्वेंटी सिक्स वीक्स प्रेगनेंसी विद नो आयरन फॉलिक एसिड टेकन अर्लियर क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटीन में ओके दे सेट नॉट अ सेकेंड प्राइमिस्टर ओके दे हैड सेट द ट्वेंटी सिक्स वीक्स प्रेगनेंसी एंड नो आयरन फॉलिक एसिड टेकन अर्लियर बट बेटा द क्वेश्चन इज वेदर दे हैड मैंशन द हिमोग्लोबिन और नॉट ओके A breast milk with a little formula feed was the question for the vegan mother. Okay, it hardly matters, beta. So you are talking about this is that the she is a lactating female with little formula food. With little formula of food, even okay. But vegan diet is there. So formula food in question twenty one. ट्वेंटी वन में बेटा ट्वेंटी वन में दैट वॉज अ फॉर्मूला फीड ओके यू आर वेरी श्योर दैट इट इज कॉज ऑफ ब्लाइंडनेस इज इन द फॉर्मूला फीड द चॉइस कन्फर्म प्लेस सो हेयर द नो डाउट दैट इट इज बिकॉज ऑफ द डेफिशंसी लीडिंग कॉज ऑफ ब्लाइंडनेस इन चिल्ड्रन इज फॉर्मूला फीड ऑल्सो ओके formula feed also so this is five choices i got vitamin a deficiency refractory errors glaucoma and the formula feed okay no problem so here in the uh, wegens uh, that it was a deficiency of b12 now coming to the next question that uh, again the gum bleeding poor wound healing and they say that some of the bone changes in the legs were also there but if these two findings are there that there is a gum bleeding and the poor wound healing then the possibility is it is because of the deficiency of uh, a vitamin c okay now coming to next is iron absorption is reduced with intake of we know that iron absorption is increased with the vitamin c like amla or the indian gooseberry is having the vitamin c lemon juices is also having vitamin c now tea and coffee they reduces the absorption sprouts we say that once they are germinating the vitamin c is uh, uh, forming in that so it is again uh, increasing the absorption of iron so here the correct answer is option number uh, c that is t now coming to next is a lady is motivating the village people about nutrition awareness where and how many times this program is conducted so a lady is motivating the village people about the nutrition awareness basically the asha worker is motivating in the community but nutritional awareness program as a nutrition day it is conducted in aganwadi centers once in a month so it is uh, this program it is conducted in aganwadi centers it is once a month not is it is uh, sorry it should be uh, both the options are once a month it should be actually the twice a month so one was once a month second was twice a month and sub center may it is not conducted in the sub center so here the correct answer is it is anganwadi centers may it is conducted once a month now coming to next is beta that was another question the xerosis and uh, this was another question was there now female of low socio economic status the wife of truck driver with complaints of the white discharge what will you do for screening of the cancer cervix at the district hospital level again some were saying that district hospital level was mentioned and some is saying that district hospital was not mentioned okay but here the answer will not change because they didn't mention about the via or the villi so if via and villi it is not mentioned and uh, pap smear yes we are using at the district hospital level ultrasound it is not used for the screening of the cancer cervix not an mri not the conization okay and uh, every fortnightly is beta it is uh, twice in a uh, month same is fortnightly so here the correct answer is it is the pap smear what we are using for uh, screening of the cancer cervix at the district hospital level now out of the total live births that is 15000 the deaths between the 0 to 7 days is 225 and between the 7 to 28 days is a 75 the calculate the neonatal mortality rate now first thing is a uh, uh, ca 125 tha okay so conization uh, was not there so ca 125 again it is not there okay so basically 
what is neonatal mortality rate neonatal mortality rate is death between 0 to 28 days or 0 to 1 month so they had given me the death as early neonatal deaths as 225 late neonatal as 75 so total 0 to 28 days will be 225 plus 75 that will be 300 now these are uh, 300 deaths are out of how many live births they are out of the 15,000 live births and I have to calculate per 1,000 live births because my definition of the neonatal mortality rate is the number of the neonatal deaths per 1,000 live births. So, my correct answer will be 20. So, here the 20 is my neonatal mortality rate. Uh, Ma'am, case control study nahi tha. That was a cross-sectional study tha. But agar cross-sectional study tha, so that will be the prevalence will be the answer. But I think you are the only person who is uh, telling that it was a cross-sectional study. But uh, whatever I get the information, everybody was saying it was a case control. Okay. So, again, um, it will be uh, depending upon what the uh, question was. Okay. So, yes, here the B that is uh, 20 is the correct answer. Now, coming to next question, you are doing survey in an area to know vitamin A deficiency problem. What is the criteria to declare it as a major public health problem if the prevalence is? We know that there are the certain prevalence of the uh, clinical features when we can say it is a major public health problem. When the night blindness, we say if it is more than a 1%, we say it is a major public health problem. But night blindness is 0.02%, no. So, by dot spot, we say that it should be more than 0.5%. It is 0.8%. So, yes, it is a correct answer and uh, corneal azirosis, it is uh, should be that is more than 0.01 percent and here it was written as 0.001 percent. So, it is also not there. Corneal ulcer should be more than 0.05 percent. It is a 0.001 percent. Okay. So, here the bitot spot is the correct answer. Okay. Now, coming to next is in a village expected death rate is 3 per 1000 uh, and observed death rate is 6 per 1000 calculate the standardized mortality ratio now basically this is we had already uh, discussed in our classes that crude death rate it is not used for the international comparison because of the difference in the age group population so what we have to do we have to do the age specific death rate calculation and that is called as standardization now age specific death rate calculation can be done in a two ways one is a direct standardization second is indirect standardization and this is standardized uh, mortality ratio or the smr it is the indirect uh, standardization and how we calculate the smr is it is the observed deaths divided by the expected deaths observed death divided by expected deaths into 100 now here what is an observed death is it is 6 per 1000 and what is an expected is it is 3 per 1000 into 100 so twice of the expected is the observed death so standardized mortality ratio it is 200 so here the correct answer is it is 200 okay uh, three was in the option okay so one or two was there not the one okay so one was the two another was three so two three hundred and two hundred was there because some were saying the two hundred and three hundred was also there national death was two and the village war for that was six okay agar jo hai national death was two and the village was six then it will be 300 okay so if i say that uh, national expected national death was two and village was 6 then my smr will be 300 so whether the 300 was in the choices because most of the students were saying it was 3 and 6 only 3 and 6 only but you are saying 2 3 and the death was 2 and the 6 okay if it is 2 or 6 then my answer will be 300 but if it is 3 and the 6 my answer will be 200 so please correct me 
please correct me that what was the correct question and what was the correct choices okay okay so um no one is uh, confirming whether it is a two or the six national three he thus surely because maximum you were saying about the three no one was saying the two so yes you are saying three and six so yes most are in the favor of not in this two it is three and the six so i'll not go with this 300 so my answer will be 200 okay three and six many of you all of you are saying three and the six only so my answer is it is 200 smr is 200 now coming to next question after war the residents of that area shifted to the other place the method for the human excreta at this waste to disposal now in the refugee camps now quickly we have to make an arrangement for the human excreta waste to disposal so we cannot make the septic tank chemical treatment it is not a very effective method so the deep trenches are made and a, a seat is put on a one end and the fecal waste is just deposited in the trench so deep trench latrine it is easily made quickly made in those areas so this is used for disposal of the human excreta waste in the refugee camps a patient took the typhoid to treatment for certain duration now presented with a pain in abdomen jaundice and diagnosed as hydrated cyst in liver now he is also giving history of playing with the dogs so here the two very important clue is one is the hydrated cyst is seen in the liver and he is uh, playing with the dog something related to the dog because in the hydrated cyst that is echinococcus the dog is the primary host is this so here the diagnosis is it is none other than it is echinococcus now steps of the disaster impact now disaster impact we already again uh, very clearly discussed in our classes that there is an impact response rehabilitation mitigation and the next step is preparedness also preparedness and again leading to the impact so this is actually the correct sequence so whatever the other choices has given this is the correct uh, uh, sequence National death is uh, 3 and the village death is uh, 2. Beta, you to ulta chale gaya yaan pe. Okay. Uh, fourth option was the pit. Okay. In this, it was the uh, pit. Okay. Question 25 may you are saying Rukmani. Okay. So a Rukmani is attending the village health nutrition and sanitation day. How frequently it is conducted? Okay. Rukmani is attending a village health. nutrition and the sanitation day how frequently it is conducted okay 25 year rukmani so again so the answer will be once a month okay answer is the same So, coming to the disaster impact uh, sequence that is impact, response, rehabilitation, mitigation and preparedness. Now, in the triage, high priority group is, we all know that high priority group is red color where we have to do the emergency life saving surgery within the 6 hours. Then comes the yellow, we have to do within 6 to 24 hours. The green is the ambulatory patients and the black are the moribund patients or dead bodies. So, the correct answer is it is the red. Now, marriage, migration, mortality and the maternal fertility are component of. These are actually the component of the demographic process. Demographic process ki components hai, marriage, migration, mortality and the maternal fertility. And if you can remember, we had discussed that uh, these all are affecting the demography and one more was the social mobility and not the morbidity so the five factors which is affecting the demography is the marriage migration mortality and the fertility and the uh, social mobility and not the morbidity what we had discussed in our classes okay 
Now coming to next is, now here they had asked about the type of the data, some are saying they had asked the blood pressure, some says that it was a serum cholesterol label, some are saying it was a bilirubin label, whatever it is, as we can measure, so it is a metric data. So metric data, may, so it is not an ordinal because we are not arranging into an order because it is a qualitative variable here. Nominal arranging as per the name, it is again a qualitative, but it was a quantitative and quantitative may be, it was a continuous, continuous means a multiple values in between the two ends with the decimal values are also there and discrete is only the few values without any decimal values. So yes, serum cholesterol may we can have a decimal values, the bilirubin we can have the decimal values. So this is none other than the continuous data. Now there was another question, the junior resident has made a poster as given below, which was corrected by the senior resident, which point needs correction? Reduce the sale of alcohol. Yes, it is a true statement. The ban the public smoking, it is also a correct statement. The change the puffers, the polyunsaturated fatty acids to trans fats, no. Because trans fats are risky, so usually we have to change the trans fats to the puffers. So this is a false statement, needs correction. And reduce the salt intake in the diet. Yes, it is also a true statement. So here the statement which has to be changed is, it is statement number C. Cholesterol or uski unit dite. Yes, so uh, yes, uh, you can say the cholesterol tha. It was not a blood pressure. Okay, done. Now here again. Now please correct me because there was again a little bit confusion in this question. The phases of the demographic cycle with the birth rate. Now what they had mentioned birth rate. Some says that it was said as a stable. Some says it was a birth rate was high or the similar in the two phases with the death rate variable or very far away from the birth rate. Okay. So, um, Mita, this was an exact question what you are talking about about the exact question. Yes, see. Okay, done. So, here what they had mentioned about the birth rate. It is stable, similar or the high because high birth rate we are finding in the phase one that is high stationary phase as well as in the phase B that is early expansion phase. The same birth rate. So, same birth rate is again the high birth rate. It is uh, no graph. Okay. Yes, beta. I had uh, just uh, uh, shown a graph. So, I think they had mentioned this blocks A, B, C, D and E. A, B, C, D and E. Like this they have said the stable birth rate or similar in the two phases and varying the death rate. So, similar birth rate it is in the phase A and B because in the phase C it is declining, the phase D it is very low and the phase E may further it is reversal. So, one thing is that phase A may the birth rate is similar in which two phases the birth rate is almost similar but the death rate will be variable. Okay. So, birth rate is almost similar in the phase A and B and the death rate is variable. Here the death rate is high and here death rate starts declining. So, phase of the demographic cycle with the similar birth rate and death rate variable. Okay. So, similar birth rate with the death rate variable, not a far away from the similar birth rate. So, I will go with option number A and B because phase A may and phase B may it was a similar high birth rate and the death rate was variable. Not included under the Janani Suraksha Yojana scheme. Now, we know that Janani Suraksha Yojana is actually the uh, promotion for the hospital delivery and here we are giving incentive. Okay, But uh, it is not only including this uh, incentive, it is including uh, so many activities also and here I am bringing the screenshot from uh, PAR and here it is saying that uh, under the Janani Suraksha Yojana, one is we are giving the incentive. Second is, it is also the Vande Matram scheme, it is also a part of uh, this uh, uh, Janani Suraksha Yojana and uh, this was the earlier name of Pradhan Mantri Surakshit Matra to Ashwasana, uh, Surakshit Matra to Abhyan where we are giving the free antenatal care by the private doctors on the 9th of every month, this is also part of this. Safe abortion services is also a part of this. And uh, we are also having the village health and the nutrition day and maternal death reviews and pregnancy tracking. These are all the components of the Janani Suraksha Yojana. So, coming to the question not 
included in the JSY scheme, incentives after the delivery, yes, it is included. The abortion services is also included. The Vande Matram scheme, it is also included. And but STD counseling, it is not included. So it is the answer which is not included. Incentive was not in the option encouraging for the hospital delivery. Okay, yes, it is also part of the JSY encouraging for hospital delivery encouraging for hospital delivery okay so here the std counseling it is not done in the jsy scheme now coming to this again this was a graph identify this image it is uh, showing the relationship between the two parameters over the time and it is none other than the line chart okay coming to the next is the patient is on the combined oral contraceptive pills the forgot to take two pills in the third week again please help me in uh, framing this question because again there was a confusion in this question and the choices now patient is on the ocps forgot to take the two pills whether they had mentioned in the third week or not first thing okay so third week may what to do next now we had already studied if a lady is missing the one tablet then she has to take the tablet next day whenever she uh, remembers but if the uh, two or the more tablets are missed so there are the two school of the thought one say that you have to discard those uh, missed medicines and you have to continue with the rest with using an additional barrier methods or additional precautions while another school of thought says that you can continue with the rest of the tablets using the backup method or a barrier methods for next seven days okay uh, line chart ka question nahi tha okay beta so i'm cutting this question they mentioned the third week okay third week tha so third week agar hai so take the missed pill in the next two days uh, we are not uh, supposed to take the double pill on the next two days reassure and the no action is taken the again this is not we have to take some action forget the two continuous pills yes we had written the forget the two continuous pills continue the tablet with a backup for seven days uh, yes this could be the answer and uh, precaution for the seven days and continue the next week my pack without the break no we have to just give the break so our uh, choices were the one lng coc's uh, additional barrier also there the two, two consecutive weeks beta consecutive weeks nahi hoga, days hoga. take the two pills in the next days and continue without the break uh this is what we had written take the missed uh, pill in the next two days and continue without break Here only uh, we cannot continue the tablet because we have to take some additional precaution. Uh, additional precaution was there. Okay, so one, option number one was not there. Uh, missed uh, two pills in the next uh, two days. Take the two pills with backup method. Uh, B the option may. Okay, so anyhow, so uh, take the missed pill and uh, precautions for seven days and continue. Ye pura ek option tha jo better laga they mention about the additional barrier methods so we have beta uh, backup is uh, additional barrier method backup nahi tha additional so beta the final just is that we have to continue the tablets and we have to use the additional barrier methods so whatever will be the uh, choice regarding that that will be the answer so in this my correct answer will be that is the continue the tablets and use the additional barrier methods now mid-year population is the denominator of now mid-year population is the denominator of the crude death rate yes it is the number of the deaths per thousand mid-year population yes it is the denominator of that maternal mortality ratio my denominator is it is the live births so infant mortality rate may again it is the live births and um, next uh, last option i could not get so here the answer is crude death rate now a castle neck uh, necklace dermatitis which is vitamin deficiency it is none other than the uh, niacin uh, deficiency it is a b3 deficiency was there
patient coming from Kerala with a history of fever, headache and consumption of uh, date palm sap contaminated fruits, the diagnosis is. So, coming from the cap, uh, Kerala, having the consumption of the date palm sap contaminated uh, fruits, so this is your Nipah virus. Now, which of the following is a part of GSSK, Janani Shishu Suraksha Karikram. Now, GSSK scheme is including the pregnant uh, patients as well as it is including now the infants uh, till one year. So, it is not only for the newborn, it is including the pregnant mothers. Yes, it could be the answer, but pregnant mother and the infants is the better answer. Okay. So, here uh, this is your better answer including both pregnant mothers and um, the infants. They mentioned better stomatitis and uh, glossitis also. Okay. Castle neck dermatitis with stomatitis and glossitis. I think beta this was another question which I did not take because I thought uh, um, this is included in your biochemistry classes. Okay. Vitamin B2 was also there in uh, option in question number 42. 42 may B2 be tha because there were the three four questions related to vitamin okay so if it was a castle neck dermatitis then no doubt it is your vitamin B3 deficiency okay now coming to next is I am in CI color coding for some dehydration now, we know that it is an integrated management of the neonatal and the childhood illness and here we are having the three color categories like we uh, used to discuss uh, about the pneumonia and uh, diarrhea is usually being discussed in your uh, pediatric classes. So, this could be an overlap question between the pediatrics and uh, here on uh, PSM. But as we know in IMNCI category, they are the three categories. So, if we classify for the dehydration, that is uh, green category, it means no dehydration, mild dehydration or some dehydration, it is the uh, yellow category and the pink category is the severe dehydration. So, if it is a some dehydration, then definitely it is coming into your yellow category. Okay. Castlenet dermatitis, uh, stomatitis and glossitis was in one question. Okay, okay. Sun exposed area near neck. Okay. It was not a Castlenet. So, whatever it was there indirectly, it was uh, reflecting your uh, Castlenet dermatitis. So, what it was uh, written as the uh, sun exposed area. Okay. Whatever it was there, it was none other than the B3 deficiency. Okay. Now, coming to uh, another, uh, please help me in uh, framing this question. History may drink water eagerly, skin pinch and uh, go back slowly. Okay. So, uh, some dehydration ka, they were mentioning accepting a water eagerly. Skin pinch, go back slowly, okay, S slow pinch, A skin pinch was normal. Okay, up down there is a confusion. Some were saying that a skin pinch was normal and the normal intake of the water. So, this will be a green category. But if it is say that uh, that is a uh, skin pinch was uh, going slowly and uh, then it will be a, a yellow category, whatever it is. Okay. So, correct option is uh, again, please help me in this uh, question. There was some question related to methods of health education that is didactic. So, most of you are in favor that uh, skin pinch was there and it was mentioned it is uh, going slowly. Okay. So, and uh, was able to drink water eagerly. So, it was a, a mild dehydration, mild to moderate dehydration. Okay. Now, here please uh, help me in this question as I could get the choices didactic 
was an active learning. We know that didactic is one way communication, it is not an active learning. We are only giving the information, we are not having the two way communication. The Socratic is a passive learning, no, we are having the two way communication. And mass communication is covering the maximum population. Yes, so this is what is a correct option. And uh, focused group discussion is open ended and close ended question because that, that was an another question I could uh, uh, get about the focused group discussion is correct about the spreading awareness uh, something like this. So, uh, spreading awareness may what was the uh, option? Spreading awareness. In didactic democratic word. Didactic may democratic what democratic beta? What democratic? So, anyhow, what was this question? You can uh, only the C uh, mention in the uh, one question, 46 question, only C mention in one option. So, this was uh, most of you were saying that uh, this was the actual uh, correct uh, answer. The some says mass communication was correct, didactic democratic, didactic democratic. So, it is not a democratic because democracy method you can uh, put your uh, opinion and uh, didactic is only a one way communication like uh, we used to uh, remember there is a dictator D for dictator, dictator bolega dusre ki nahi sunega. But anyhow this was the correct option ok. So, next question is all are seen in the first referral unit except again there was a some question uh, like this that uh, all are seen in the first referral unit except. Pediatric uh, specialist is yes it is present, the doctor services yes it is present, the blood storage uh, active passive nahi tha but still ye dono option wrong hi the. ok. Spreading awareness was in question, spreading awareness where you are spreading awareness in which ok. So, uh, you can later on uh, other uh, directly message me on my number or in our uh, telegram group or you can just message your proper question in your uh, in this chat box okay chat box later on. So, all are seen in the first referral unit except the pediatric uh, uh, specialist are there yes the doctor services are there the blood storage facilities are there yes intensive neonatal care it was it is not there in the first referral unit okay. Uh, 47 question was not there like this. So, what was exactly the question of the FRU? Uh, just uh, uh, message me in the chat box later on, ok. Pediatric super specialist tha, ok. It was pediatric super specialist. What is a must for the PSC to be a first referral unit? Surgeon, pediatric specialist, blood storage, and ICU. Okay, so you can exactly frame the choices. Some are saying that uh, 24 hour counseling, tha. some is saying surgeon, hai, pediatric specialist, hai, uh, blood storage, hai, NICU. So, NICU it is not there, okay, because NICU it is not there, okay. What is must for the PSC to be first referral unit? Must for PSC to be first referral unit. So, what is must? So, here we are having the three four things must. Blood storage facility bhi hai, pediatric specialist bhi hai, NICU is not there. What is the most mandatory services? Ha, so, they must be what is not for the first referral, ok. What is not must be there, okay. One option was a super specialty, 
okay so uh, again uh, you can uh, just uh, uh, write the proper choices there so whatever is there what i could get is that they had asked it is not for the first referral unit so not for the first referral unit is neonatal intensive icu units okay because we are having the blood storage facilities we are having the uh, doctors we are having the pediatric uh, super specialty is also there and surgical intervention is also there because we can do the surgeries because here clearly mentioned uh, in our again a park is that what are the recommendations uh, of a center to be labeled as a first referral unit 24 hour delivery services including the normal or the assisted deliveries emergency obstetric care including the surgical interventions the newborn care emergency care of the sick children the full range of the family planning services safe abortion treatment of sti the blood storage facilities emergency laboratory services and the referral services these should be the components of first referral unit. So, whatever is the uh, option other than this, that is not a part of FEO, okay, FRU. So, uh, coming to our last question and yes, this was a focal group discussion and I could not get the question here. I could not get the any uh, choices. So, uh, please help me. What was, yes, one was answering earlier that it was an open or closed discussion. What was that question? What was the choices? You can write again that uh, focal group discussion and i see nahitha okay okay we got so any uh full question of this is open ended question man if you open ended and close ended double barreled so what is actually the question which type of question should be used which type of question should be used for focal group discussion this was the question which uh, type of questions should be which type of the questions should be used for focal group discussion open questions closed ended question double barrel question structural discussion structural discussion open ended close ended both option in the question structural discussion so anyhow whatever is this focal group discussion means the 6 to 12 members they are discussing among each other so i'll go with the open questions because question are open and everybody can answer those questions okay so what may be the exact question and uh, again um, you can uh, just uh, properly recall whenever you are free minded and you can uh, message me so uh, we are coming to end of this session so i could get the 48 questions and uh, even i had left some of the questions related to nutrition also so overall we could say that uh, 50 plus questions are asked this time and most of the questions was doable questions because the concept related to those questions we had already discussed in our classes so i hope it will uh, this subject will definitely help you in the exam in getting the good score and uh, we all uh, wish and pray to god that you all will pass with good marks in this exam and you will come out with flying colors and definitely we'll all meet you in our mist office and gautam nagar when your result is there so again in the end enjoy this journey enjoy the days what you are getting relax whatever has been done done and um, just try to just 
focus on your uh, happiness and definitely everything will be fine. So once again, all the best. Love you all. So, hope so, beta. Not only the 230, you will be getting the 250 and you will be the topper of this exam. Don't worry, don't worry. This subject, because 50 questions are asked, definitely it is going to help many of you in uh, getting the good score in the examination. Okay? So, all the best.